Welcome to Insurance Agent Training Live. Man, I missed you guys. Every Monday, 2 o'clock Central Standard Time, we drop some bombs. Teach you how to sell, teach you how to make money, teach you how to be a better insurance agent today than you were yesterday. I got something good for you. I promise you, you're gonna want, you're gonna want to watch all of today's episode because I got something really, really good. I'm gonna walk through on the whiteboard. I, got, I know you guys love when I break out the whiteboard. I'm gonna try to make it so that you can follow along because normally what happens is we go about 12 minutes and I've got the whole board full of freaking writing and you're like, dude, where is he going? What the heck's going on? So I'm gonna keep it really simple today. I'm gonna give you my three steps to working leads. I'm gonna keep it really, really, really simple. Three steps to working leads. I'm big on all these steps, systems. We have the, we have the three S's for our weekly system, set, sit, and sell. We have our four-step appointment process. I believe everything in sales and life in general, you need to break it down into simple steps. Break it down into a system. I'm a big believer that the word system is super important in the insurance business. Most people don't know this. I was in an interview earlier. Most people have no idea that there are more millionaires in the financial services and insurance industry than any other industry in the world. So you're in the right place. The three steps, again, you guys know I'm big on, uh, what, do they, what do they call those? They'll get all the smart guys in the studio. What do they call those acronyms where you use like the same letter with alliteration? Alliteration, yeah, something with an A. <laughs> all, three, all three words, the same first letter. This is the, my three steps for working leads. What I've used over the last 10 years to be really good at working leads, you guys saw me. Uh, if, you've got, if you haven't seen the video of me in Jamaica calling leads in a tiki hut on the ocean on the south side of Jamaica, calling leads on video. I have my wife video and I'm calling leads just to prove that, hey, dude, our leads are as good as any lead you'll ever touch. I believe that agents should be setting 40 to 60% of our leads. And I hope Derek is over there putting some of this on my Instagram story while I'm at it. So these three steps, all about working leads. The first one is speed. You gotta be quick. You gotta be fast. It's all about, our leads are delivered in real time. The coolest thing about our leads, yeah, they're exclusive. But anybody can say their leads are exclusive. Most, most of the time you don't even believe that our leads are exclusive, so what's it matter? Not only are they exclusive, but they come in real time. That's what I noticed when calling leads from Jamaica from a freaking tiki hut on the ocean. I learned that I'll, I have a better chance of getting a hold of our leads and setting an appointment if I call them within seconds within minutes of that lead coming straight to my email or straight to that Google Sheet. That's one thing that we're big on is speed. Some agents will start a lead order on a Friday and they won't touch them until a Monday. 72 hours has gone by. That is way too long. People are gonna forget. It's a crowded world. They're seeing commercials. People are calling them on the phone. They're getting direct mail. You got Alex Trebek coming on the TV. All these crazy things are happening. You got 82 other insurance people calling them on the phone. You want to be first to market. That's why speed is so important when you're working leads. I'm telling you what, the biggest thing we preach all the time is action. When a lead comes in, don't even think about it, freaking literally. When a lead comes in, my wife's proof, because we were in Jamaica doing this, a lead would come in, it would hit my email, bam, I'd hit the phone number, and I'd get on the phone immediately. If you haven't seen that video, you want to see it. I was able to set four appointments the first time through calling 10 leads and I didn't even touch it six times like I preach because I'm in Jamaica on my anniversary. So I kept it short, didn't make a ton of calls. Every agent should be at a 40 to 60% set ratio. The first thing is speed. Speed is what you need. You have a better chance of reaching leads if you call them immediately. It's statistically proven. The second S to working leads. You could have called this swings, strikes, whatever, I'm calling it shots, and I'm talking about the basketball shots because I'm a sports player. So shots, how many shots are you putting up every time you get a lead in? I believe that you gotta get to six. You gotta get to six shots because what happens is st stats prove that if you get to six calls, you have a 90% chance of contact. If we want to put stats and percentages in our favor and freaking dominate, you'll get to six calls. So unless they tell you, so let, 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 let's just say that the, the lead tells you no, 
or they say I'm not interested, or you talk to them, or you book an appointment, or whatever the case is, then you wouldn't get the six shots. You wouldn't get the six calls. If they say, no, I'm not interested, or whatever, you'd still door knock them, because they're probably going to forget anyway. But unless you book an appointment, or unless you talk to them, you get to six shots. Get to six calls. This is the one of the biggest things. Speed is really important. But this one is the most important of all three of these. Because most agents, 80% of sales are made between the 5th and 12th contact. So go six touches. Minimum. Harvard Business Review, they did a business review with, with inside sales. They worked 100,000 unique leads over three years. And they noticed when they got to six calls, they had a 90% chance of freaking contact. You want, you want a 90% chance of talking to 90% chance of your leads? Then go six calls. That's what shots is all about. Speed is important. But lazy people don't go six shots. Lazy people do what most insurance agents do, which is why 92% of insurance agents fail. They don't call them at all, or they call them once, maybe, or duker, they may call them twice, bro, and then that's it, man. That's it. And then they're like, dude, I'm done. These leads suck. They're horrible. I give up. Go six touches. We tell people, don't even call us and give us feedback about the leads until you go six freaking shots. Because when you go, when you're fast and you go six shots, you end up booking 40 to 60%. I did it with one call from a freaking Tiki Hut with no script. And I didn't even go six shots, and I still hit the numbers. Imagine if you actually go six shots, what you can do. Speed, shots, and guess what? You won't have this immediately. But if you're fast and you go six shots, the skills will eventually happen. You will end up getting better because you were fast and you took enough shots. Kobe Bryant, I say this story all the time. When he was a kid, he was in a basketball league. His literally... I think he played over in Italy or France or somewhere. I think he grew up over there. Seriously. He he played in he didn't score an entire summer league at like 11, 12 years old. He worked out and shot two to three hours a day at that age. And the next summer, he was the best player in the league because he did what? He took enough shots. You can't be great unless you take enough shots. You can't get the skill you need unless you take enough shots. They say 10,000 hours to mastery. Take freaking shots so that you can skill up. Part of the skill is using our script properly that we give you. You guys can see the video and the audio of me making calls. It's really simple. I'm calling, let's just say I'm calling Douglas. Douglas answered the phone. And I say, hello, Douglas. I mean, the person answers the phone, Douglas. Yeah, this is Douglas. My name's Cody. I'm getting back to you about your request for the new final expense information. Now, hey, Douglas, I'm the local field underwriter. I'll be in your, out in your area on Friday. Are you more of a morning or an afternoon person? That's it. It's super simple. The only phrase I may throw into the call every once in a while is I, if I can feel a little uncertainty, is, hey, this is Cody. I'm getting back to you about your request for the new final expense information. I'm assuming you remember that, right? I'm assuming it. I'm not assuming that they didn't or that they don't or that they have no clue what I'm talking about. I'm assuming every step of the way. The call is super simple, super easy. They say, well, I'm an afternoon person. Wonderful. Uh, out, out on Friday in the afternoon, they got me pretty busy, but I've got a 2 o'clock and a 4 o'clock, which is better. It's so simple. You can train anyone to make calls like this, but they got to be fast. they got to get to six shots, and if they don't have the skill then they need to take shots so they end up getting the skill. They need to take shots so that they end up getting great, and they need to role play. We preach in our sales room in our office. They watch tra training videos, and they role play every single morning between about 8.40 and 9 o'clock because role playing makes you better. Taking shots and practicing makes you better. When I was in Jamaica, my wife was videoing me make calls with my cell phone. You can ask her, what do you think I did? I role played with myself and went over the script before I even made calls. And guess what? I was rusty on the first two. 
I haven't made lead calls in a while, and I still got to a 40% set ratio. Every agent, if they follow the speed, shots, and skills system, they should be at a 40 to 60% set ratio. All because they're fast. Because they go six shots because they're not lazy, because you're not lazy, right? And they end up, if they're not great yet, because they follow the system, they read the script, they role play, they care, they end up getting great and they end up being good at what they're doing. Quick story. I had an agent, it's probably been like a year ago. I had an agent that bought some leads down in Mississippi. I sent him leads. He, he, he called back the next day, dude, these are awful, these are horrible. Like, this is a joke, this is a scam, you are a fraud, and this sucks, bro. So I said, dude, I believe so much in our process. I believe so much in our system and all of our intricate details of our lead process that I'll make the calls and I'll set an appointment. He's like, no. He's like, no, there's no way. He's like, dude, please call him. It, it, it won't work. I made two calls. The second one answered the phone and I'm calling from a 417 area code in Springfield, Missouri, not Mississippi. I didn't even look local. Second person answered the phone. First person, no answer. Second person answers. What do you think happened? I booked an appointment because I had took a lot more shots than that dude and I had more skill. And I booked an appointment and then all of a sudden the leads didn't suck anymore and then, I, and then he goes out and makes a sale. After supposedly the leads were horrible. As Glenn Gary Glenn Ross says, the weeds are weak. Dude, these leads ain't weak if you follow the speed, the shots, and the skills system for working leads. If you want to make $100,000, we can give you the leads and show you the math to get there. If you want to make $200,000, we can give you the leads and show you the math to get there. It all comes down to having a system for everything you do. If you want to be great at working leads and you want to make leads work for you and want to have success with no matter what leads you work, especially the secure agent leads that we got here, then you'll call with speed. You'll be calling the shots and you'll go six shots every time and you'll get great so that you end up having skill that you can end up with a 40 to 60% set ratio. These are my three steps. Take a picture, write them down, screenshot, whatever. Three steps to working leads. This is my three step system to working leads. We do insurance agent training every single Monday, two o'clock central standard time. We change it up. We don't always do the same thing every single week. But every Monday I come to you to make you great as an insurance agent, to train you on the specifics of what I know that you need to know. That's why those are the three steps to working leads and they freaking work. Speed, be fast. Shots, don't be lazy. Get to six and skill up along the way. And I promise you, you will never have problems working leads ever again if you stick to those three steps when you work leads. Thanks for watching. We'll see you Wednesday.